Chances are you know that song. That's the Super Mario Brothers theme song from Koji Kondo of Nintendo. How do I compose this in Blacklyprop? Let's take a look. A quick search on Google led me to this Wikipedia page. Note that the song is comprised of notes, which have a duration, a frequency, and then also a rest between them. How do I turn this into Blacklyprop code? Well, a little more searching led me to this. Ian Harker decoded the entire song for us already, so we can grab the first 24 notes from his work, which I've linked into the project too. This is Blockly Prop Project 47590. To get started, we're going to need three arrays. The first one will actually be the note, and then the second one will be the duration, and the third one will be the rest. And we're looking at the first three bars of the song, so that's 24 notes. Now we need to populate these arrays with the values. So now we get the list, and I'm going to paste it three times. And we'll populate this with the notes, the duration, and the rest. So where do we get these values? We'll hop over to Ian Harker's list. And you note that the first one is 660 hertz, 100 milliseconds length, and then 150 milliseconds of delay. So let's put that into our program as an example. And then you can finish this for all 24 notes. Jumping ahead, I've put all 24 notes, duration, and rest into these arrays. So that part's all done. Next thing I have to do is I have to get a audio block to actually play the note. And we're going to put this into a loop like this. And we are going to read the first 24 notes, durations, and rest. So we'll just use the default item. And I'm going to use pin 27 because I have a VHO speaker hooked up. And then the second block would be Jumping ahead here, I have populated all of the notes, durations, and rest. They're separated by commas. And the next thing we need to do is throw in a loop, which will index through the arrays, um, individual notes, durations, and rest, and then play them. So we'll get a frequency block. And I'm using pin 27. Pin 27 has the Propeller Activity Board's audio amplifier on it. For the values here, for the duration, we'll come back into our array and we'll get this block. And the list we will use will be duration. And then for the index number, we'll just use the variable, which is a loop counter, like that. And then we'll copy this and simply change it to note, which is a frequency. However, we're missing one more thing. We need to have the pause in between the notes. So we'll simply copy that block again, and we will index the item number from the array that contains the rest value. At this point, we can just delete all this extraneous stuff, and then we'll download and see that it works. I'll turn my speaker on. And the propeller activity board is right here. So we'll download. And there you have it, and you can finish out the whole song if you'd like.